class. Good morning, mom. Let's all stand for our opening prayer. Let's bow down our heads and close our eyes. Dear God, thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the blessing that you give to all of us. Forgive us for all our sin and protect us from wherever we go. Amen. Okay, class, before you sit down, kind of pick some pieces of papers under your chairs. And after that, please arrange your table. Am I clear? Yes, Mom. Okay, you can do it now. Are you done, class? No, Mom. Put your trash in the trash can. Are you done? Yes, Mom. Okay, very good. Thank you. You may take down your seats. How was your day, class? Okay. Okay, very good. Now, I will first check your attendance. Class monitor, can we say who is absent? In the first row, Alana? None. Second row, Rafa? Okay, very good class. You have a perfect attendance. Let's give five claps to everyone. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, very good. Now, okay class, before we start our lesson, I have some rules in our classroom. First rule, please keep our classroom neat and clean. Is it clear? Yes. Okay. Rule number two, don't bully your classmate. Rule number three, please raise your hand if you want to answer. Rule number four, please behave every time. Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay, very good. Before we start our lesson, do you want to be energized? Yes. Okay, let's stand up, class. Let's stand up and be energized. All you want to do, I will play video in this laptop and you will follow the video in the laptop. Um, do you understand? Yes, yes ma'am. Okay. Now, 
that we know what a bar graph is and how to present, collect, and organize data, we will interpret it. Our topic for today is interpreting a bar graph. Okay, class. I want you to look at this chart. Then, I have here the parts of a graph. All you have to do is to paste the title of the graph, the x-axis and the y-axis, where you think where this is located. Do you understand? Yes. Okay, first one, the title of the graph. Rafa, now we paste the title of the graph. Where do you think the title of the graph located? Next, the X and Y axis, Elena. Where do you think, Elena, the X and the Y axis located? Okay, thank you, class. Now, let us check if your answers are correct. So this is a what is this graph? It is a it is a bar graph. So the title of the graph is located above the graph. So correct, it is correct the title of the graph. Then the x axis is located below the horizontal line. So it's correct. And the X and the Y axis is located in the left side of a bar graph. Okay, it's correct. Let's give ourselves a round of applause. So, you know, you know the parts of the bar graph. Now, I want you to look at this bar graph. What kind of bar graph is this? It is a single or double bar graph? Single. Okay, very good. I want you to study this bar graph and after that, we will interpret it by answering some of the questions that I will paste here on the board. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I will give you one minute to study that graph. Are you ready, class? Yes, yes ma. Okay, we will interpret this single bar graph. Okay, by answering this answers. Okay, number one, who wants to read? Okay, Lena. What is the title of the graph? Okay, what is the title of the graph, Lena? Favorite color. Okay, favorite color. Very good. Number two, Rafa. What, what information is placed along the axis? The x-axis. So where is the x-axis here, Rafa? The color. Very good. So what this is the x-axis. So what do you see in the x-axis? What are these? Red, blue, green, yellow, violet. What are those? Okay, very good. The x-axis is colors. Number three, Lena. How about in y-axis? Okay, what information is placed in the y-axis, Lena? Children. Okay, very good. Children. Okay, eight children. 
number six. Please read all together. What color gather the least number of bowls? So what color gather the least number of bowls? Green. Because the green is the five. Oh, how many? Is, how many children voted for green? Five. five. Only five. Okay, so the green is the lowest votes for the favorite color. Number seven, please read, Elena. How about the most number of votes? How about the most number of votes? What yellow. color? Yellow. yellow. Okay, yellow Eight. is the highest, which, how many votes? Nine. Okay, very good. There are nine votes, and the yellow has the most number of votes. Number eight, Rafa.
What is the most favorite sports of the boys? What color represents the boys, Rafa? Color? Red. Okay. What is the most number of boats in boys? What sport? Okay, very good. Basketball. Number six. Please read all together. How many boys like the game soccer? Okay, how many boys like the game soccer? Soccer. Three. What color? Red, red. Okay. What is in between two and four? Three. Okay, very good. Three. Three votes for soccer. Seven. How many girls like the game softball? Softball. How many girls like the game softball? So, uh, sport softball. Two. two. Okay, very good. Two. And plus. Number A. What sports has the least votes for girls? What sports has the least votes for girls? Basketball. How many votes for basketball? One. Okay, one. So it is the least votes for girls. Okay, we did interpret this double
about the y-axis. Number of chips sold. How? Number four. How many packs of banana chips were sold on Thursday? Four hundred. How about in Sunday? Five hundred. Which day has the most sales? Saturday. Number seven. In what day did Aling Ninita have the least number sold? Friday. Number eight, the last question. How many packs of banana chips were sold from Thursday to Sunday? 1,800. Okay, very good. And here, three, three clock for Lana. Now, group two. Wrap up.
I will give you red chips. Okay, red chip for group number two and red chip for group number one. Okay, very good. Do you understand class? Yes, mom. Do you have any questions? No, mom. Notifications? No, mom. Okay. If you have no questions, Kindly get a piece of paper and a pen and answer the following. We're going to interpret a graph. Okay, class, do you have a pen and paper now? Yes, mom. Okay, please interpret this graph. I will give you two graphs. This is number one. And this is number two. I will paste questions here. You're going to answer so that you can interpret it, okay? Just tell me if you're done in number one so that we will proceed to number two. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Okay, this is questions in number one. You don't need to copy the Questions. Just give the answer directly. Avoid copy class. Just tell me if you're done answering number one in order for us to proceed in number two. Do you understand? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma okay. How many 
participants are there in Car Car City Division. Car Car City Division. How many participants? 250. Okay, 250 participants. Number 8. How many participants are there in a Sinandoloy Troop? Okay, how many participants in Sinandoloy Troop? Number nine. How about, about in Tuburan National High School? school. Tuburan National High School. Three hundred fifty. Okay, three hundred fifty. Number ten. What is the total number of all participants in the Sinulog Festival? So we're going to collect first how many participants in each group. So in Sinulog Cultural Troop, four hundred. Four hundred participants in Karkar City. Okay, because our topic today is 
very simple. It's very simple, okay? The world is the same. Please get your assignment notebook. Please get your assignment notebook. Quiet class. This is your assignment. Please get your assignment notebook. Copy this and pass it tomorrow. Yes, okay? Do you understand? Yes, mom. Okay, class. Thank you for your cooperation yes, this morning. Yes. Hope that you understand our topic today. Thank you. Please stand up. Please stand up. What is our rule number one? Keep the room neat and clean. Okay, please keep the room neat and clean. So please pick up papers under your chairs and put it in the trash before we go. Okay. Are you done? Yes, ma'am. Okay, stand up. Raise your hand. Both hands. Shake, shake, shake. Sit down. Stand up. Okay, let's all stand for our prayer. Please lead Rafa. Okay, thank you. You may now take your lunch. Thank you, Mom. Okay, bye-bye.